your hands, everybody. If you got what it takes, I'm Tim Bow, and I want you to know that these are the brakes. Hey, get your back. In 2002, the National Institute of Health, the NIH, published the results of a 3,234-person study proving that the risk for type 2 diabetes could be decreased by 58% with proper exercise and nutrition. But how does a grant-funded inner-city community health center take that well-funded national research program and produce comparable results with a predominantly Hispanic and low-income population. The federal government, the National Institutes of Health, invested all this money in addition with that. <clears throat> you could, you know, if you pick people in high risk for total, type 2 diabetes, you got to work out and eat the right food and stuff. You could prevent diabetes, delay its onset. <clears throat> but nobody was doing it. You know, it wasn't happening. And it's still not happening. And so to actually get a community health center with all the limitations that it has, to say, well, we're going to do this because this is such a big problem. In 2007, the Fairhaven Community Health Center, FHCHC, translated the NIH's Diabetes Prevention Program, the DPP, into practice. How do you then get that into practice? Okay, and this is this translation. Many aspects of the NIH's DPP remain the same. And many things changed. For more information or to donate to the Fairhaven Community Health Center's Diabetes Prevention Program, go to diabetespreventionprogram.wordpress.com. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel.